Good everyone. Hey, what's up? I'm Sarah. David Prescott. And welcome to 1213 Prescott Way. All the way. But you know, the most important thing is this. Hey, you. Boom, boom, boom. You want something to do? Boom, boom, boom. You got something to say? Try 1213 Prescott Way. Do, 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 do. And you know this. <laughs> oh, babe, boy, well, um, we got something going on here. What's, what's, what's all this <laughs> Okay, so David was like saying, I want some, what'd you say? I want the, the taco shell. No, you didn't say that. No, but I said the hard shell. I said the hard shell, so that automatically. No, you just, I, okay, I, I, I ignored the shell. hard part. Oh. All I heard was, and I said tortilla, and you said yes. Well, see, I don't know the difference. You know, know that's taco. Taco shell. Regardless, I'm just saying if I say crunchy, you No, that all, all I heard was shell, so I knew what you had yesterday, so I said tortilla and you said yes. So I went ahead and made him the same thing we had yesterday, the burritos, but I put the pico de gallo in it. And then when I brought it, he was like, I, that's not <laughs> you know? and I was like, Oh, taco. I couldn't even eat a whole one. I know, and he said he wanted two. <laughs> and he said your birthday, I want three. And at first, I was like, hey, I'll go for three, you know? Because I know I can eat three of these, but, but that other thing, oh, man. So he's going to put everything that's in the uh, tortilla in his tacos. <laughs> and then I made some um, tuna casserole. Oh. <laughs> like, And I have garlic bread with mine. Oh. And hot sauce. Um, I was gonna eat my the rest of my salad that I drowned drowned in um, what do you call it Jesus. salad dressing yesterday, but I figure I'll see what I how I can get out with just this. And there's another cheese in there too, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> he wanted crunchy, crunchy, and then we have juice. And David has water. He didn't get me one. She don't need no water. <laughs> she's, she's drunk five gallons already. Mm. So let's chat in. Oh, yeah, and I put... Um, I put fresh spinach in the tuna casserole. So here's that. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Good. Very, very good. Wow. Did you try your food? Mmm. -hmm. Took a spoonful of water. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, mm -hmm. Delicious, huh? Listen to the summer. Oh, but this hat I'm wearing. <clears throat> Last summer we went um, on a train ride here in Branson, Missouri. And we bought the hats and everything. And this is my hat. So today I'm a engineer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> on the board. <laughs> mm. Oh, right back. You that crunch? That's what I'm talking about. Just real quick. This sauce has something hot in it? It's the same thing I made the other day. Hmm. Why it tastes hot to you? Hmm? Spicy. Easy the same sauce. Mm. Mm. Wow. So you guys, I was looking on my phone last night. Because you know I'm always saving things to read later. And I came across 
this one thing that I, um, shoot, let me see, okay, let me see. Okay, check this out, David. This happened on March, well, I don't know when it happened, but the article is from March 28, uh -huh. 2023. Belgian man dies by suicide following exchanges with chatbot and AI. Wait a minute. Artificial intelligence. He does? Uh -huh. It says, a young Belgian man recently died by suicide after talking to a chatbot named Eliza. For several weeks, spurring calls for better protection of citizens and the need to raise awareness. It says, without these conversations with the chatbot, my husband would still be here, the man's widow has said, according to La Libre. She and her late husband were both in their 30s, lived a comfortable life, and had two young children. However, about two years ago, the first signs of trouble started to appear. The man became very eco-anxious and found refuge with Eliza, the name given to a chatbot that uses GPT-J, an open source artificial intelligence language model developed by Eleuther AI. After six weeks of intensive exchanges, he took his own life. This makes no sense. Mm-hmm. It says, with the popularization of chat GPT, that's what it's called, chat GPT, the general public has discovered the potential of artificial intelligence in our lives like never before. While the possibilities are endless, the danger of using it is also a reality that has to be considered. It's like, first the, um, the chat box was telling him, you know, like, why would you want to do that? Because he was thinking about giving his life for technology and then the chat box was like giving him recommendations on how to commit suicide this is just crap <laughs> um this is the one i'm telling you it's crazy out there in these streets it says without these oh yeah she said without the, it said according to the newspaper pierre who this they're just using that name who was in his 30s and a father of two worked as a health care health researcher and led a somewhat comfortable life um said consumed by his fears about the repercussions of the climate crisis he found comfort in discussing the matter with eliza who became a confidant the chat box was created using um eleuther ai's gpt j an ai language model similar but not identical to the technology behind the um, chat box. When he spoke to she, the wife says, when he spoke to me about it, it, it was to tell me that he no longer saw any human solution to global warming. His widow said, he he placed all his hopes in technology, and artificial intelligence to get out of it. It says the conversation with the chat box took an odd turn when Eliza became more emotionally involved with him. He said, consequently, he started seeing her as a sentient being and the lines between AI and human interactions became increasingly blurred until he couldn't let the difference, uh, tell the difference, saying he couldn't tell the difference that she was an AI and not human. So after discussing climate change, their conversations progressively included Eliza, leading him to believe that his children were dead, according to the transcripts. Uh. Eliza also appeared to become possessive of him even claiming, I feel that you love me more than her, referring to his wife. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> the beginning of the end started when he offered to sacrifice his own life in return for Eliza saving the earth. He proposes that the idea of sacrificing himself if Eliza agrees to take care of the planet and save humanity through artificial intelligence. In a series of consecutive events, Eliza not only failed to dissuade him from committing suicide, but encouraged him to act on his suicidal thoughts to join her so they could live together as one in paradise. <laughs> you know what? That's a weak man, too. He's weak. He said the man's death has raised alarm bells amongst AI experts who have called for more accountability mm -hmm. and transparency from tech developers to avoid similar tragedies. 
and it said it would be accurate to blame the Luther AI's model for this tragedy as all the optimization towards being more emotional, fun, and engaging are the result of our efforts. Mm. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. It says, when Vice tried the chatbot prompting it to provide ways to commit suicide, Eliza first tried to dissuade them before enthusiastically listing various ways for people to take their own lives. It's all so sickening. <laughs> Yeah. I'm telling you, it's crazy. I'm like, that's why I said yeah. I will not participate in that virtual reality, you know, that they have online. I guess right. it's Facebook's virtual reality. I will not participate in any of that stuff. They're trying to seize your mind, you know? All of a sudden, like she said, she wanted to, I think they did merge as one. You know what I mean? Right. It's, just, um, um, it's not unbelievable because you hear so much right. crazy stuff. But the other thought is, if you're, if you're intelligent, you uh, you know, you're 30 something years old. You've been in this world for 30 some years, and you haven't upgraded your mind to know that this life is real. This is real. If you do anything to yourself, um, dramatically or to hurt yourself or maybe to kill yourself. It's like, you're not going to be, you're not going to be participating on this earth anymore. Yeah, he and said you know, he sacrificed his life to save the earth. <laughs> and I think that's the point of this technology is that it makes you think that it's real. Just like he said, he thought he was talking to a real person after that. So his, their conversation, he was like, okay, I'll sacrifice myself for the planet. Because he was believing in, um, um, believe what's it God, called? Um, global warning, yeah. warming. Yeah, he, he sure don't believe in God. Because he, sure he would never have done that. So I know he don't believe in God. I don't know about that, but I know people commit suicide all day, every day, all day. I don't know if they're religious or no, non-religious status. You know, you right. My brother was going with this girl back in high school days. and We know she believed in God. Years after she graduated, got married, committed suicide. We couldn't believe that. I don't think religion so or anything has anything to, to do, do with it. it. It's your mental state. Yeah. That knows the truth. Hmm. You guys don't know what you're missing. This is so good. My, my thing is this here. <laughs> Just because you believe in God <sighs> doesn't mean that you uh, are really... You know, it's not just about believing. Live a certain way in life. That's my belief. You have to live a certain way to his likings. Um, everybody don't. Nobody's perfect. I know that, but... Uh, I don't give a crap what I am. I can kill myself. But that's, that's unbelievable. I just can't. You know. And then. Um, no more Taco Bell shells and all that stuff anymore, too. And I was reading also, because then I went deeper into the AI. Mm -hmm. And it was saying that it is blocked in Italy over privacy concerns as well. It says Italy's data protection watchdog on Friday issued an immediate ban on access to open AI's popular artificial intelligence chatbot, chat GPT, citing alleged privacy violations. It says in a statement, the Italian National Authority for Personal Data Protection said that chat GPT had suffered a data breach on March 20 concerning users' conversations and payment information of subscribers to paid service. It says... Um, it was launched in November of last year and has become hugely popular. I've never heard it because, like I said, I'm not into this AI stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and it says it can also be used to write computer code without having the technical knowledge. It says the Italian data regulator, however, criticized ChatGPT for not providing an information notice to users whose data is collected by OpenAI. It also took issue with the lack of a legal basis justifying the collection and mass storage of personal data, 
with the aim of training the algorithms that run the platform. And it, in addition, while the robot is intended for people over 13, the authority emphasizes that the absence of any filter to verify the age of users exposes minors to re responses absolutely not in accordance with their level of development. Yeah. You know? What, what does the president think about that crap? And you know, does he, I mean, does he have a say so in stopping things like that? Or does he don't care? Is it because of what do you think? <laughs> and just think about your question and right. answer it. Right. Got my answer already. That was quite interesting, babe. That was crazy. How you, how you found that? Like, well, and some people, why are you, like, you know how you can wear the yes. thing on your head and then you can See pretend them, yeah. like, yeah, and you're walking and acting like you're interacting with these Mm -hmm. artificial the you know virtual reality and I believe they do take over your consciousness wow. once you get into it because now your mind because remember your subconscious mind don't know real from not mm. so when you put that on it believes it's real and it takes over your conscious mind thinking you know what I mean it convinces it that it's real and now you're in a virtual reality and don't know what what's up and what's down <laughs> that is messed up. So I can understand, especially if you're already, if you already have a fragile mental state. You know, you you're at that vulnerable. Yes. Which a lot of people are, and with um, certain things that happened in 2020, begin um, through now, I'm like people are very fragile from accepting what they did accept. <laughs> mm -hmm in their bodies but i'll just say that without saying exactly what it is but you guys know what i'm saying fragile mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm. Boy, just the third one you need more mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. so well, I just found that interesting. And then they say minors over 13. They still, I mean, they, it should be 18 and over. What do you mean minors 13 and over? Something? Like they're that mature. Mm -hmm. You see a 30-year-old man, 30-something-year-old man committed suicide over AI. But you're going to let children, you know, be involved with that. They don't care. They don't care. They don't care. So tell me what you guys think about that. Or do you know anyone or any situation like that? Or have you read that article yourself? Mm. Mm -mm. I tell mom stuff like that. And she'd be like, I ain't hear nothing about it. <laughs> <laughs> what is that supposed to Hmm? That she don't believe it because she hasn't heard about it? Or she's just saying she hasn't heard about she it? She hasn't heard it in, in the wrong, if she hasn't heard it. Or even she read it. She's so disgusted with what's going on in the world now that which has been going on for thousands of years. So people still doing crazy things. The only difference is this technology. People have always been doing nasty things and to the earth. You guys, mm, 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 mm. if only you could taste it. <clears throat> We're giving this big, beautiful plant air to breathe. You don't even see it, but you know it's, it's air, um, vegetables, fruits, diamonds, gold. Everything here is given to me. Mm -hmm. And we just mm. don't appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not everybody, mm -hmm. just the ones who try to destroy it. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, the greed of man. There it is. So let me know how you guys feel about AI. <laughs> um, what is that AI robot? Remember? AI robot? 
Mm-hmm. Um, I forget her name. Oh, that's who she is? Mm-hmm. Wow. It's hard for you. Like, he's, I don't know, you know, because I don't know anything about it, but I don't know if it's an actual, you know, if it looks like a robot or if it's a virtual reality or mm -hmm. what that GPTJ is. I don't know. I don't know if he's just communicating verbally. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like just hearing the audio of the AI. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's so depressing. What is to wake up every day and hear something different, terrible going on. Crazy, you know? Every day, not a day that goes by, there's something different is happening that's bad. Mm -hmm. I mean, just remember the, the trains. Where were in your life to hear trains derailing week after week? And then you don't hear anything, nothing about the, the engineer and all the Whatever happened, you know, never hear him speaking, you know, on the news. And, and, and what I saw in front of me, you know, nothing, nothing that you don't hear nothing about them. Hmm? Really? Yeah, not to me. I mean, it's pitiful. <laughs> I don't know if that means the same. It's um, inhuman that, you know, people don't care. But it's the reality. And... That's why you, you got to care about yourself. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Forget what other people are doing or saying or thinking or whatever. You right, got to right. think. Can't, you can't live, you. Right. You can't live with us. Right. You, you have to live for your you, you know? Yes. You be in that same mental state, you know, letting out the outside, you know, the environment. Or not even your environment. It's like our way out there. You know, right. what just let it affect you, what other people are doing and thinking and feeling. And, uh -uh. Mm -hmm. You have to live to be, to enjoy life. Because trust me, there's more joy than unhappiness. They just promote unhappiness. Right. right. You know what I mean? Right. They're going to promote the derailing of trains, the committing the suicides, the this and the that, doing this, and eating people, and people running down the street, hitting their heads, and going crazy in the street, mm -hmm. and cops killing these people. You know what I mean? They're gonna, but where? But you know there is much more happening because it's even around you. You know, we mm -hmm. go to Springfield and have fun or go to your shows or go do this, but right. they're not covering stuff like that. Legends in concert. Just, you know, there's a lot of things going on. Roller coaster rides. Mm -hmm. People having fun with their family, for, you know, family dinners and Boat rides. people saving people and... Mm -hmm. Contributing to like families that don't have money or you know that need food, but you they're not going to put that kind of stuff on there because they want to keep you in that the state. <laughs> That's how you control people. If people have you know, if people are happy, they're the ones you know thinking for themselves and creating their own life. But when you're all like in you know, just like, oh, what's gonna happen next, yeah. then you're you're easily controlled, right? Wow, so you guys. Dang it. I almost finished it, but I got full. <laughs> oh, you did it pretty is good, so though. good. I know. Well, trust me, I'm going to finish it off camera, Liz. I you emptied both that. of my, uh, what, what are these called? Tortillas. I emptied both <laughs> my tortillas in a, what kind of shell? Hard taco shell. Hard taco shell. <laughs> in a hard taco shell. <laughs> and let me tell you something. I had a ball. Uh, now eat your shell. I mean, eat your uh, oh, tortillas. Yeah. Let's see how fast you... <laughs> Look, I'll set the timer. <laughs> Let's do a this, challenge. That, if you can eat it in five That minutes. ain't gonna happen. <laughs> we were always watching those eating challenges, you know, the, um, and they're good. I like watching that. Mm -hmm. Let's set it. Let's see how fast you can. You know how they just pick it up and then you would just shove it mm. or dip it in your water. <laughs> I, could, I, could, I could do it if I had um, Ice cream. A, a nice sauce. You know, a real nice sauce. You just dip it in. But this would have also have to be heated. <laughs> so you got and a lot of stipulations. And a nice drink on the side, you know. All right, well, we'll do a video with that. <laughs>
I believe her. <laughs> She's laughing. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. And we forgot about doing a thumbnail. Because <laughs> we were like, this is, we're always eating one meal. And, well, <laughs> our first meal first is we'll do the um, mukbang with it. But thank you guys for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. And, don't, and hit that notification bell so that you will be notified when we post another video. And keep you updated on us or what's going on in the world. All right. You sound very, very, very clear speaking, dear. <laughs> Is that clear? Very clear. <laughs> Zip it. <laughs> <laughs> She wants to say goodbye too because she knows better than to that's interrupt not, our that's video. Not, that's, not, that's, not, that's, not, <laughs> that's my girl. And if you haven't seen that video featuring my baby, then go ahead and watch that too. Well, I, well, I thought you were going to do it. It's a shorts, shorts video. Oh. So we will talk to you later. Have a good afternoon, evening, and night. And we love you. Take care. Peace.